Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, we'll be talking about how to set default terms and conditions in the accounting module of Odoo 17. So for that, first you have to go to the accounting module. As you can see, here's the accounting, I'm opening it. And then what you have to do is go to the configuration and from there choose the settings menu. Okay, so go inside the settings and here you just go and search for terms and conditions. So just you type terms and here comes the customer invoices. Under that, you can find this default terms and conditions. Okay, so you have two options, which is to add a note and add a link to a web page. The first one is add a note. So I'm going to add a note over here. And here you can choose what note should be shown. Okay, so here you have the option to show notes to be shown. So I'm given as, I mean, I'm giving the data as terms and conditions. So I'll give simply sample also and I'll save it. Now let's see how this terms and conditions is displayed inside a document. Okay. So once that's done, I'm simply refreshing the page and let's wait for it to get loaded. Okay. So let's go back and I'm opening the sales module over here. So here in the sales module, I'm going to create a new quotation. Okay. So let's add the customer. So let it be deco and I'm going to add a product. So let the product be a caustic block screen. Okay. Once it's done, I'm going to send it by email. Okay. Click on send it by mail. So what happens is that the stage will change to quotation sent. So here's the PDF of the, you know, quotation. So here you can see the download have started. Let's go on and check the document. Here we have the document. So I'm opening it. If you scroll down, here comes the quotation and here you can find terms and condition sample which was the text which we've given inside the quotation okay so this is what the text we have given now let me change the settings okay so for that i am just closing it and let's go to accounting here is the accounting module and i'm going to change the settings okay so currently we've given add a note and inside the accounting, I'm going to open and search for terms and conditions. Okay, so here it's add a note. I'm changing it to add a link to a web page. So once it's done, you can see update terms and all. Okay, so simply save it. Okay, now after saving, you can see the preview of the, you know, uh, web page and all. So I'm going to search it once again, that is terms. And here you have the preview. Open the preview. So this is the preview of the page. Now I'm going back to the settings. Okay. Now let's try to create a new quotation with this thing. So for that, I'm going to the sales and creating a new quotation. Okay. So let's create a new quotation. Here you have this option to add the customer. Let's add a product. Okay, so here's the product. Acoustic block screen I'm adding and I'm sending it by me. Okay, so the sending is done. Let's wait. Now here's a PDF. I'm opening it. Okay, so let's just go and check for the... Let's check for the data. So here's the quotation. Open it. Simply scroll up and here under the terms and condition, you can see a link which will take you to a web page. So simply click on the link and it has taken you to the web page which I have shown you already. Okay, so same is the case with invoices. Okay, similarly, we have this document in invoices as well. So if you just confirm this quotation and if you are going to create an invoice for this, okay, I'm going to create a draft invoice. So down payment of Certain percentage I'm doing, creating a draft invoice. Okay, now if you go to the preview of the invoice, this will be the preview, right? Okay, so if you just scroll down, you can see terms and condition given here. And if you click on that, this will take you to the terms and conditions. Okay, so this is basically how you set terms and condition for the different documents, basically for the quotations and the customer invoices, which you create inside the Odoo. So this is how you manage it using the accounting module. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.